Stellaron hunters. The General was merciful enough to let you live, but you haven't shown the slightest bit of gratitude. Why are you here? Because she was struck by my spirit whisper. My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my orders, all without a second thought. Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. <sighs> you witch! Sword, heed me! Keep up! You can fight it, or rock with it! Punish evil! Turn it up! Here! Blade of me. You're all in on it. Try that again. Watch this awesome move. You can't run. Stay off. You can fight it or rock with it. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Of course, Sam and Silver Wolf would have broken us out, but Blady would have been gravely injured, and our relationship with the Sienjo would have been damaged beyond repair. If possible, I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all costs. Can I leave now? Yes. The Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person. A person to whom I am greatly indebted. I must see them. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. 
I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. Hmm. I remember you. You once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I remember. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did, and live to tell the tale. Hmm. Every Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals, but I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now, young one. 